phase. I'm not sure what Damaga's going to do about it. There's the change Hydralis link, but that's... Hydralis then on the way, and it looks like Damaga did get food cap there from losing that one Overlord as these Void Rays continue to do some punishment. Hy Hydralis is only like halfway done, man. Yeah. So he's a long way off. Sport Tommy Crawler's is on the way as well. Look at look at his Demaga's response. That's I think Demaga's desperate. That's this right. This is an act of desperation. Thirty three roaches, and look at this going after the roach warren. Let's see what the let's see what the queens can do. Uh, There's right not now, enough energy for any transfusion, so it's going to be very hard for these queens to take down. E you know, even the one of those void rays. Demaga's, Demaga's only got two queens. You know, what I mean? it's not like he's got five. Yeah. Now, four crawlers going up for Demaga. He's going to lose a few things, and let's check this out here. Force fields up. And I think one, two, three, four sentries. So are we going to see never-ending force fields? I don't know. Oh, and look! Oh, and look at this! These void rays are in trouble in the base of uh, Demaga, and we got a burrow going down right now. Nice job as well by Demaga. Ah, and he's losing so many from those force fields. Burrow him. Interesting though, if he holds this off right now with a worker count. Tommy's got 10 more workers than Demaga. So the thing is, the Void Rays, they're going to shut this down. All he needs is an Observer, and there it is. There's the Observer coming out of the robotics facility. Yep, no the good. Void Rays are going to shut down this attack. Demaga is now going Hydralisk. Will those Hydralisks get there in time? I think Demaga was hoping they would, and I don't think they will. So the That's Roaches right. are so now all dead. Stops them from and going Tommy's yeah, you know what? Pommy's in a commanding advantage now. Pommy's got 50 probes. Demaga's got 37 drones. Pommy's mining off a of four assimilator, so he's being a gas pig. Uh, likewise, so is his opponent. Hydralisk range is not being researched. I'm not sure if that's an admission of weakness or fear that Demaga realizes he's going to have to... There it is. Now it's coming out. Uh, just as he uh, pumped out about 10 more, uh, 10 more Hydralisks. Yeah, Demaga's at 96 food, Pommy's at 106 food, so the army sizes are about the same. The difference is in worker count, and Pommy's had a higher worker count now for about four minutes, so, uh, you know, Pommy's uh, army value is higher. That's right. So here we, here we go again, Demaga with 22 Hydralisks. So again, he's just massing one unit and going at it. We see Thermal Lance coming down right now from Pommy on those, uh, you know, on those Colossus, as we also see level 1 attack upgrades for the ground units of Protoss, and level 2 attack upgrades for the ranged units, uh, the ranged ground units of Zerg. And now, at this point, Pommy is spending his money on Colossus rather than on Void Rays, which is a pr really good transition. However, if three Void Rays, and I think they're going on a scouting mission. Oh, and that expansion is going to get uh, taken out. Unless well, he can I don't react. Think so. I mean, oh, yeah, he does have the Hydralis now, so he will be able to yeah, react. But... He'll probably be able to nail it. I don't think he'll be. Let's see, it's going to be a. Cl uh, the Hydralis slowing down off creep, and no, they will. Yeah, I, I figured so. And wow, one Void Ray just was vaporized. Now, at this point, uh, Protoss is mining with 55 workers off of two bases. Protoss has got three Colossus with Thermal Lance range. And look at and that look changeling, at yep. Yeah, and this observer sees it. I mean, doesn't an observer spot a changeling? Uh -huh. And he doesn't even notice or care. I'm not sure. But we're seeing 25 stalkers with... They don't have blink. And we see... Uh, there goes another. And basically, he's taken out the creep tumors one by one. So it's Roach's Hydralisk versus... We're going to see it right here. That's right. Huge conflict here. And look at that. Micro coming from Pommy. But he's backing himself into a corner. Yeah. If he's not able to do and enough damage here, he's going to be in a bad position as he's going to lose most of his force. Bunch of roaches and those hydralists with the extended range. Oh, the hydralists are in big trouble. With Look at this. They've got one Colossus is alive and vaporizing the roaches. The Protoss is going to win this war. That's what it looks like here. It's going to be close, but he's going to win. And look at this, bringing one roach in after this. Oh, and it, actually, you know what? It's wow! A, looks like Zerg's gonna take it a little bit, but it's pretty e it's pretty even there. Yeah, there's two units left from that <laughs> brawl. So basically, now uh, Protoss has got two Void Rays, seven Zealots, and five Stalkers. On the other hand, taking a look at 
at Demaga, he's got 15, 16 roaches, one hydralisk. So those three void rays, I don't know where they are. They're down here actually at the at the base trying to do some harassment. One of them did get taken yeah. out. Yeah, a queen and a hydralisk will be, be able to do a good job. He's basically suicide. Oh no, the void ray did it take us out. It survives and it gets off with nine health. And I'm surprised. No, we still see nothing coming. When he gets out of there. Yep. So is the is the the roach warren is here and we have this roach speed upgrade. The hydralisk range is obviously completed a long time ago. Protoss sits at fifty five workers. That is eight more than Demaga, who sits at forty seven. And uh, you. we see Protoss sitting at two bases and has not uh, planned to expand or has not expanded at all. So And Demaga has now got nine hydralists, twenty-seven roaches, and I like this. Uh, look at this. Yeah, the wall of defense. Basically, however, Protoss is not going to take this route. On Shakuras Plateau, there's a million ways to skin a cat. <laughs> That's right. And it looks like uh, there are ten more roaches on the way out for uh, Demaga, as Demaga is uh, fortifying up right here. He's going to need to go in and react as soon as uh, this drone ru yeah. goes up that ramp and sees that this force is coming in. Nice move by the drone. Will he be well, able to... Off his side. Yeah, now he now will. Now he will. Yep, there it is. So now he's going to be able yeah. to go in there and do something. And that's exactly what he's doing. Reaction is on the way. The sentries are going to stop him. Let's see if he puts Blaze down the force field. Look at it. This is gonna, they're going to wreak havoc here. These... These Colossus are going to devour this money line. Oh, and look at that range, man. Absolutely. And the problem is that the sentries can lay down a force field on the ramp. So, that, you know what? He's going to shut down Demaga right here. Or, so he's going to shut down, yeah, Demaga. And Palmy is long-distance mining. Palmy is mining off of two bases. This base here, this base is empty, and he's long-distance mining off of here. Uh, so Demaga has been shut down, but it's not like Palmy's economy is booming. You know what I mean? For sure. So let's see what Demaga can do about it. Demaga, yeah, Demaga is, is catching some lag. Just a slight bit, though. I'd be more worried about these three Colossus than a little bit of lag. Yeah, that's this sure. next. If this Nexus goes down, Demaga's going to have a rough time. Demaga expands here. And right now, Protoss has got 55 workers. palmy has got 55 workers. Demaga's got 43. And these roaches 50 are... 50 roaches at level 2 attack. Plus, exactly. And of course, that means the Hydralisks are also plus 2 as well. Any, ra any ranged uh, Zerg attacker is plus 2. So here we go. And again... I, oh, know, right in there in the force fields. Cut them in half. Yeah. Only needs GGs. a couple... Of that's, that's it. So Pommy gets another point, and Demaga does not take the win for this round. We got another Protoss victory here. And it's the best two out of three, so that's it. Pommy uh, moves yep, on. Win wins this event, and Pommy will be the third Protoss player in the King of the Month tournament, which is next Sunday, February the 6th. So why don't we throw the link to, onto the end of the chat for the uh, King of the Month tournament. It's going to be a around this time next week. p.m. Central European time. And don't forget to join us, guys, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, as well as Big T on Saturdays for all the other Craft Cup events. And we will be bringing you the King of the Month, and we will also be having a new, uh, we also having a new, um, a new website mainframe being uh, launched this week as well. And uh, just so you know, just a little bit about why the uh, why that guy was disqualified. Um, and that was, uh, you know, that was because he wasn't who he, uh, said he was, anyway. Um, and there was some other, uh, some other stuff that we can't really get into, but, um, you know, he was, he was well-mannered about it after, uh, being found out, and, you know, it, it's alright, we're gonna, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see Pommy in the, you know, in that, uh, King of the Month. So with that being said, and you guys got anything else to say before we go off the air here? Uh, well, I'm just I'm really looking forward to next Sunday. Uh, Naniwa, Straylock, Insolence, and now uh, Palmy. One Terran, three Protoss, and the Zerg faces extinction here. 
That's about it. That's all I wanted to say. How about you, uh, Torre? Anything you'd like to add? Nope. Other than it's great, we finally find the last guy. Yep. That's right. It's good to see. Good to see. So the cliffhanger has ended. And uh, thanks for joining us, guys, for this great, uh, you know, 40-minute cast. We're going to be bringing you guys some more stuff uh, this week. So uh, please stay tuned. And don't forget to join us at imbalance.tv. Let's go ahead and give a shout-out to our sponsors over at Zowie. And we'll leave you with that. <laughs>